We turn now to the COVID pandemic and a startling rise in new cases of the highly contagious Delta variant. It now accounts for one in four cases nationwide. This as the pace of vaccinations has slowed to a crawl. More now from CBS's Carter Evans. It's been a holiday weekend where so much seems so normal. It's fabulous. I'm so happy and it's nice to have everybody together. But lurking amid the celebrations is a COVID reality check. We still have hundreds of Americans dying every week of this disease. Uh, 99 plus percent of them are people who are unvaccinated. Concern is growing over the Delta variant, now the dominant strain in California and four other states. In just one month, the Delta variant has exploded in California, a more than 500 percent increase. And it turns out masks may still be a good idea even for those fully vaccinated, says Dr. Anthony Fauci. I might want to go the extra mile to be cautious enough to make sure that I get the extra added level of protection, even though the vaccines themselves are highly effective. While the two dose Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are nearly 90% effective against the variant, that number plummets to only 33% with just one dose. It could be trouble in Texas, where officials say more than a million residents are overdue for their second dose. It looks like uh, our vaccines, at least with the first dose, uh, don't work well against Delta. So that second dose is critical. Even with health officials pleading that vaccines are the best way out of the pandemic, a new poll finds nearly a third of Americans who are not vaccinated have no intention of getting one. This is a very devious virus. It will find any crack in our armor it can, and it continues to do so. Now, during the height of the pandemic, holiday weekends were usually followed by a surge in COVID cases. Now, doctors are warning there still could be a surge in areas where vaccinations are low. And if that happens, it'll be around the middle of July. Major. Carter Evans, thank you.